Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can spice up your quote design by using these quick and simple but impactful layouts. So let's jump into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation and to save time, I'm going to paste in the three backgrounds I had. You can easily create these yourself by going to Format Background, choosing a linear gradient and picking two different colour stops that you like the look of. I'm also going to quickly paste in my text, align it to the middle. Now let's create the quote graphic. So for this first example, I'm going to choose parallelogram, which is this fifth shape in the basic shape section. And I'm going to click anywhere to add it. And I actually want to rotate this. So I'm going to go to this circle here and hold down shift so it rotates and it will lock to the exact rotation I want is actually 90 degrees. I'm now going to flip this vertically. That's basically the shape I want for the quote graphic. I'm now going to stretch this out and stretch this out. And then overlay it so it fits nicely with enough space and looks good. You can adjust the angle of it by using this little yellow dot. Now I'm going to give this no fill and then a white 10 point line. And align it to the middle. And now we'll add the quote marks. You can either get vector graphics or icons for these, or you can just use a font that you like the look of the quotes in. So if I type quotes in there, I'm going to choose a font called Palanquin which is available from Google to download. And I'll put the link in the description below. I'm going to make these white and very big, probably about 120 point and bold. Looks good, but now we need to make sure that the background is slide background fill. So this is just the background of this text box, but we want to make sure it's background fill. So then it will go over the top of the white line, but looks seamless in the background. And we also want to go to the text box options and make sure that it's on do not auto fit. And that will allow us to size it as we wish. And finally, I'll align it to the center. Looking good. Now we'll click on this one and press control D. And if I hold down shift, you can see we'll rotate it all the way around and then put this down here. Again, because it's on slide background fill, when I drop it, it will update. Great. Now I'll just add in the person's name that made the quote. I'm going to make this white and 16. And then just want to rotate this so it's about in line with the line above. That's about right. And finally, we'll add a little bit of animation to reveal the quote. And I think something like this looks good, where we can go to animations and choose fade. But instead of it all fading up as one single fade, if we go into the animation pane, double click on the animation settings. Choose to animate by letter with about a 5% delay between letters. So the letters will all fade up which I think looks really good for a quote. And let's play that. Great. Now let's add a second example. Again, to save time, I'll quickly paste in the text. For this quote, I went to insert icons and typed speech in the search box. And I decided to use this icon here. So we'll click on that and choose insert. Hold down Control and Shift to scale it up. Looks good. Actually flipped it horizontally and rotated it six degrees. So we can go to Format Graphic and then choose Size and type in six degrees. I'll apply the same rotation to the text. Six degrees. 
just going to drag this into the middle, and drag this to where I want it. And as before, we can add the quotes, but I'm just going to make this white to start with. And to make it quicker, I'm just going to copy and paste these quotes from here. Remembering that you can use any font you like or icon, but it's important to choose slide background fill so they fit seamlessly on the background. So I'm going to make these a little bit smaller for this one. That should do. And again, I'm going to rotate this and this by six degrees. Make sure that this one's rotated all the way around so it looks good. And if you want, you can make this box a little bit bigger and it will cut into the white box a bit more. And then we'll just move this, which is the name of the quote. Great. Again, as before, we can add animation to this. We'll go to animations, choose fade, go to the animation pane, click on the text box, and make sure that the animate text is on by letter because that's consistent with the first one and at 5% delay, and it just fades on like that. Brilliant. And I'll just do one more very quick example. I'll paste in the text. I'll paste in the quote. Graphic. And I just align it to the middle. And then I'll just use a standard rectangle. Which I'll want about there. I'll make sure it's got no fill. And a 10 white outline. And then we'll center back and move the quote up a tiny bit. And you'll notice that where the text is here of the person that said the quote, even though it's on top, we can't see it all. And that's because we need to choose a slide background fill as the fill option in the text box. Great. Finally, as before, we'll quickly add the fade. Double click on it in the animation pane. Five percent delay. Quickly play this from the beginning. And there you go. A nice way of quickly and easily improving the design of your quotes and making use of slide background fill. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.